That is the human heartbeat scale. You know, that is when you are healthy. Huh? With a bit of extreme to the one side, and a bit of extreme to the other side. That's why the first metronomes have this scale. The newest Japanese electronic metronomes go to 250. <laughs> Well, I think if you have a heartbeat of 250, you will soon do not exist anymore. It's too much of a human being. So, speech and heartbeat important. Yes, we, we get a little bit in trouble. Shall I go on a little bit more? Well, I'm saying. Or are you bored? Like no, 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 no. Like oh, good, that's fine. Yes, because I want, I want to speak a little bit about how things developed from the very beginning. Um, yeah, the, this, uh, I, mean, I don't think I say something strange when I say that today the, there is a disintegration of the tempo, the collective tempo ideas in music. Uh, there are tendencies all over the all over the history, and they are they are lost today. And in fact, I I don't I hope I don't stand on somebody's toes, but that the so-called authentic early music movement is responsible for the biggest uh, change in the tradition. The only music where the tradition of what we see in classical music still exists is in pop music. It's interesting. So, pop music, steady beat, then comes the period of the tempo rubato, and now we return in the pop music to the steady music of the tempo rubato and pop music at all. In fact, I did research to the pop music in the 60s and 70s, and the ideas of the tempo in pop music of the 60s and 70s is completely similar to the ideas I found in the 16th, 17th, and 18th and 19th century. So there are two main tempos. There is a slow tempo and there is a fast tempo. This is what you find everywhere, also in in uh, music of uh, folk music of very many different countries all over the world. And they relate to, to speech, language, and, and this. So the main tempos are 60 and 80. 60 is the slow tempo, and 80 is the faster tempo. I mean, as a point of departure. Um, in fact, from the very beginning of music, of instrumental music, people have tried, you know, somehow to document the speed of music, somehow. And one of the most successful ones, very early, is Michael Petrovitz. I, I don't know if you have ever heard his name, and he wrote important books, and one of them was published in 1670, and I have to speak about this man with you. Because when music was still only vocal music, when we had no instrumental music, there was the tactus, and the tactus was related to the heartbeat. In fact, there was, <coughs> if we say it really strongly, there was only one tempo. There were probably small differences, but in Basically, there was only one tempo. <coughs> now, Pretorius says in his uh, preface that uh, we have had only one tempo, we have only one tactics, and music has developed so much that we can't do it anymore. It's not enough. So he proposes to have three different tactics. 